Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 80. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the ability to add a Favicon image um, to your website using the Xara Web Designer software. And you'll be able to follow along if you have version 7 premium or version 8 premium. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is show you what a Favicon looks like. So let's go to the web browser and you want to go to youtube.com and when you go to youtube.com you'll see their logo here and then you'll see their favicon and you'll notice that they look different because the favicon is just an image to represent your website if you go to google.com you'll see their logo and then their favicon up here is just a small g with a blue rectangle behind it and the favicon as you can see is really small it's usually around 16 by 16 pixels or uh, 32 by 32 pixels so um, it's going to be a really really small image so let's go ahead and go back to the XR software and if you if I sound a little down it's because I'm a little sick so I do apologize um, for that but hopefully you can still follow along with my monotone voice today uh, let's go ahead and go to the toolbar and click on the rectangle and let's go ahead and draw a rectangle in our space but I want you to hold down the control key as you resize in this and take note of your info bar showing the pixels and you want to make sure that it's set to a um, 16 by 16 pixel um, rectangle and once you do that you can go ahead and, and deselect that rectangle and this is the size that our favicon will be when we put it on the internet so once you have that let's go ahead and go to our zoom tools and the info in the toolbar I'm sorry that's the toolbar not info bar and you're gonna look for the one that says zoom to drawing which is gonna be this icon here left click on that it's gonna zoom us in really close on this um, 16 by 16 pixel rectangle and go ahead and select your text tool after you select your text tool go ahead and use um, the interactive slider here to make the text size smaller. We're going to make it about a 5 pixel and then click somewhere inside this rectangle and write the word T -U -O, TXT and we'll just say that that stands for text but you would put in there whatever you want maybe it'd be an image or something to represent your website. But I'm just going to put TXT and say that it represents a website with text on it so that will be our favicon and we would go ahead and select both the text and the rectangle you can do that by holding down the shift key and left clicking on both objects and we have both of them selected together hit control G to group them and then go to your name tag icon in your info bar and go ahead and write the word favicon inside, inside the apply name box and then hit add hit close go to file preview web page go to your web browser I'm going to Firefox in this case and you'll see that it says TXT with a rectangle behind it and that would represent our favicon now another thing that I want to show you if I go to my bookmarks you'll see that these three last bookmarks have the YouTube logo and this helps you to easily find a website that you have bookmarked so depending on what website you want to go to you can simply look at the the favicons to quickly know and find the site that you're looking for so it's, it's useful from a user standpoint where it's easier for you to find something in your bookmarks and also when you have a bunch of tabs open like I do right now I have a total of three actually imagine if this was eight tabs you know you'd be able to quickly see by the favicon um, what each of these windows holds in terms of what website it's it's viewing at that current moment in time so it has really two um, useful standpoints would be the the tabs seeing the favicon and also um, and the bookmarks when you go to the bookmarks being able to quickly see um, the website that you have bookmarked so that's favicons I hope that this tutorial was helpful uh, if you have any questions feel free to send me a message on YouTube uh, don't forget to embed, subscribe, and share or favorite our video. And I hope that you stay tuned for future videos. And I'm sorry if you heard any background noise. 
uh, during this recording. Unfortunately, I don't have a soundproof uh, studio. Uh, so if someone is walking past uh, the room, you will hear background noise. So again, I apologize for that and hopefully you were able to concentrate throughout this tutorial. Uh, again, I hope that you stay tuned and have a great day.